What the? What was that? Was that? <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> Ramo Wow, thank you for so wow. much. Wow, it's so good to see you. Yo, I thought so I, 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 was, <laughs> I was actually in, in, in Disney movie. Yes. I was like so yes. angelic. Rama, thank you so much for being here. Thank yes. You. And uh, the little bird told me that you guys are actually go way back when. Way back. <laughs> way back. See, when Rama starts something, he will definitely finish it. Yes. He didn't. He didn't come here, you know, out of mm. the blue. He started something fresh. I actually got to have the honor to witness the beginning of his journey, and mm -hmm. look where you are. Thank you. So amazing. It's so good to see you after such a long time. So. Okay, probably you, you come from the from the musical background and with, yeah. with all the instruments and stuff and also looking at harp is it's probably some you know kind of alien um, kind of type of instrument for me mm -hmm. as a you know commoner. I love you mention alien. And, because it's, <laughs> of course. And yes. um, probably you can tell me how did you uh, how did you come to the interest of of, of harp? Perhaps Karina can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no joking. Well, so. I, I was there to watch, but I would love to hear the story. I okay. think the world deserves to hear your story. So, um, honestly, I don't know because uh, I never thought that I would become a par player. Mm. Because when I flew to Vienna, I want to study conducting for okay. orchestra because before I played piano and violin. Mm. And then uh, to enter the university, the audition, uh, there was like three days. So the first day was a theory, hearing, acoustic, mm. etc. Mm. And then the second day was singing and then yeah. the third, uh, piano, violin and then conducting. And I I failed on the second day, which is singing. Okay. So okay. long story short, actually I want to go back to Indonesia. But my mom told me like, don't you dare to go back to Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> because yep. you already threw a huge uh, farewell party. And everyone already know that you will go to Vienna to study. And then she said, like, no, just study psychology or law. You <laughs> love them. I was like, As sure. a plan B. <laughs> As a plan B, because I don't have plan B or plan C, actually. Yeah. 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 But I said, like, uh, well, I think I will just stay until next year for the next audition. And in the meantime, I tried the harp audition. And perhaps it's the fates uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for me. And then I get accepted for the harp. Yeah. You know, that's live. Can you imagine? It wasn't even his main instrument he, he got yes. accepted. Oh, uh, no, no. So... <laughs> this is, you know, the live has too many funny ways for us yeah. to actually live it. Well, he's lucky enough that it was very obvious then. And we get, he got to stay in Vienna for music because mm. that what you, what, that's what you've always yes. wanted to do. Now, share to us what kind of harp is it that you're using and um, what year did you start? Because that's actually the most interesting part. Like, did you decide to learn harp in Vienna or mm -hmm. was it even before? No, I decided to play, uh, to learn the harp in Vienna after I didn't pass the audition. And then you decided that I want harp. I want harp. Actually, not really, because mm -hmm. actually I, I still want to be a conductor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this one is a concert harp. Uh, mm -hmm. It has 47 strings. 47 yep. strings. It's a post. <laughs> because, because I think there are three broken strings and I'm okay. okay. too lazy to okay. <laughs> It's tough, right? Like musical engineers or fixers, we call it, yeah. really difficult here in Indonesia. But how many types of harp there are? Uh, there are two. Two? So the uh, concert harp and then Celtic harp. Uh, concert harp and Celtic. 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 So, so for this one, mm -hmm. um, is there any, uh, any certain um, function to the color-coded uh, strings? Yes, the red one is C and then the black one is F. Okay, so the red one is C, the black one is F. Yes, and then uh, most of people doesn't know that uh, actually behind the harp there are seven pedals. Yep. And each pedal has three steps. Okay. So it's like the black key on the piano. Oh! So, yeah. so if you see a harpist play a really elegant, actually they play supper. <laughs> behind the harp. Yeah, that, that's logical. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. I mean, no. That's why they wear like the women who are harpers wear like big dresses, yeah. so they don't actually see the. See? It's like the movement. Have you, the have you ever movement. seen someone playing church organ? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like you got to dance with the fingers and dance with your legs at the same time. It's very funny, but we love that about classical music. And you know, I'm I'm one who really understands the competition in Vienna when it comes to music. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is amazing that you've come so far, and I wanted to ask. Um, how does it feel to be the first male harpist in Indonesia? And now, uh, proudly, 
being able to say maestro in harp well, in Asia? Uh, uh, like I mentioned before, I never thought that I'll become a harp player mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. And uh, feel, it, it feels great, obviously, but it took tears and sweat. That's for yeah. sure, because in Vienna we have to practice minimum five hours a day. Mm -hmm. Five until seven of hours. Of practice? Practice, mm -hmm. on, only the instrument. Only the instrument. Yeah, because I started the harp when I was 19 and it, it was already very late for a European people to play harp. To play instrument. Instrument. In general. So, um, so I met you there, was it 2003? Three, four, right? Yeah. 2003. I left in 2004 oh. and you were still really, really into the harping. So, how long did you have to learn from zero until you finally passed an audition to the school? I, uh, actually, when I, when I did the audition at the conservatorium, mm -hmm. I never played the harp before. Whoa! Yes, yeah, so I told the dean, like, actually, so I, I just being honest with him, and I told him like, okay, actually, I want to study conducting, mm -hmm. and I'm, I just want to, I need the, bestätigung. What is the bestätigung? Bestätigung is confirmation. Confirmation. Okay. So yeah. the letter of confirmation from yeah. the conservatorium to apply visa. Oh. I, don't, I don't have that. Yes, 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 <laughs> so yes. I need to register to have uh, that bestätigung. And yeah, so if I pass next year, then I will bye-bye from this conservatorium. Ah. And then he asked me like, what do you want to study? And I said like, I want to study harp actually. Oh, okay. And then, but I, I told him like, I never played harp before. Uh, but I already prepare songs uh, like for piano and violin. And then oh. he said like, well, if you want to study harp, you have to do the audition for the harp not piano, and then I was like, yeah, but still I never mm -hmm. played harp before, and yeah. I want to try it, but I want to do the audition with the piano. And he's like, no, 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 that's not possible. And then he said like, yeah, if you want to study harp, then the audition is for the harp. And then I said, I said again, like, but I never played yeah. the harp. And then he said, like, well, that's your problem, not my problem. <laughs> So what did you do? Did you like, did you like, oh no, YouTube was not a thing back then, no. right? Yeah, so, and then well, I just like, okay, then I just, uh, I just go for it, just do it. And then before the audition, I met my future uh, teacher and I told her I never played the harp before. Mm -hmm. And actually I want to study conducting and this is just like waiting time mm -hmm. until next year. And then she said, hey, well, if, because you never played the harp before, I make an exception. Mm -hmm. So normally uh, for the audition, you have to play like Handel Concerto, yeah. Etude Ex Extra, and then... The tough stuff. <laughs> yeah, tough stuff. But uh, because you never played her before, I will give you a children's song. <laughs> yes. That's one for the book. <laughs> yes. And yeah. then that was the first time I mm -hmm. see a harp in front of me and even touch it. So that you, was the first time. So you only needed to ask which strings are what notes yes, and you yeah. can already read it, right? Yeah. I already read about the red and the black one. Okay, ah. according to your story, you did not want to play, you did not have the intention to play harp uh, yeah. at first. And then coming along that you have those story about, um, you know, quite complication with, mm. with confirmation letter and stuff like that. And also you can't really do the audition with piano and stuff like that. And then the first time you touched the, the harp, what was going, going through your mind? I don't know, it's just like, I just want to try and like yeah. Kai said, like, if I decide it, then I have to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> when he decides something, he finishes it. Yes. He does. He did. <laughs> okay, now long story short, mm. you've, um, you've become um, the man of uh, your uh, dreams, let's say. And then what I want to know is what are your proudest um, moments, aside mm -hmm. from uh, uh, playing um, uh, for uh, Vienna, uh, Concert, opera House, uh, opera okay. house. Uh, and uh, what is actually the the, the proudest moment? Well, actually, um, all of them are my proudest moment because I think as a harpist from Indonesia, mm. I wrote uh, quite his history in the harp oh, world. Oh, certainly. Uh, like for example, on the 2007, I was the first Indonesian that played at the Vienna Jazz Festival, mm -hmm. and then in the meantime, also I played at the Opera House, and then. On the 2012, uh, I was the first Indonesian harpist that accepted to the Israel Harp Competition. Mm. It's a really difficult competition in the world. Mm -hmm. And the Singapore Harp Society actually wrote that I'm the first Southeast Asian harpist that's wow. being accepted for that competition. 
Harp isn't exactly a very popular instrument here in Asia. A lot of people go straight into the violins, but it's actually a big opportunity. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, you get like great teachers. The demand is there, but the supply is not that much. Exactly. So, um, and you, I mean, you teach as well, right? Yes. So, um, have you seen a boom in harp interest in the last five to ten years? Uh, five to ten, yes. Because when I uh, came here in Indonesia, uh, I start uh, teaching and. Most of my students already study, study abroad and mm -hmm. got also the scholarship and now they are back to Indonesia and opened their own harp studios mm. and it's already, actually it's growing already now. I mean, uh, I just out of curiosity, one of the reasons why sometimes musical instruments can be a little bit more difficult to access is because to access the instrument is very yeah, difficult. Very, very limited. Are there actually local... Um, local how do you say it we have a certain word for it in german like the people who make the instrument um music uh, artists music yeah, instrument yeah, artisans yeah. or anywhere in southeast asia that you can access harps because if you want to people to play mm -hmm. harp yeah, they yeah. have to be able to practice yeah. right so well the local one uh we don't have but uh, normally they use uh, like my brand uh Southie. and then now in indonesia actually they already uh, official distributor. Oh, oh yeah. there's an official distribution yeah. for that. Okay. And it's much more easier, uh, I mean, comparing when I was mm -hmm. uh, in Vienna, yeah. because I use a uh, KBRI letter <laughs> <laughs> to, bring to, yeah, to, to bring the harm. Yeah. Because... Remember those days, taxing was an issue, yes. an even bigger issue than now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, um, you guys have been, been talking in a certain language that only people in the musical, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, being what would actually understand, but uh, now what what I can see from from uh, you know the point of view that harp is quite uh, limited when it comes to uh, musical genre mm -hmm. because we see we see harp as a as a classical instrument yes with a classical genre but are there any specific music genre or style that you specialize uh, when playing the harp? Well, classical obviously, mm -hmm. obviously. obviously. But uh, now I play also, uh, I'm the member of Twilight Orchestra, mm -hmm. so we played pop mm -hmm. and sometimes I have to play also jazz. Normally during Christmas because most of the Christmas songs yeah. are yeah. in the jazz style. Jazzy, yeah. jazzy song. But how do you, how do you actually um, adjust to uh, those certain uh, genres because um, the, the, the sound and the tune mm -hmm. of, of harp is, is very distinctive. Yeah. Well, practice. <laughs> I think that, that, that is the only good. answer. <laughs> and the perks of being in an orchestra, Hans. The music sheet is written for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. Right? But is it possible to improvise with harps? Mm. Yes, of course. Okay. okay. Yeah. That answers, that answers. Okay. So, um, we've known that you've made a couple of concerts here in Indonesia, mm -hmm. your own solo concerts as well. And do you have any plans to hold more? Well, plans I have plenty, but it's really difficult to execute uh, the plan <laughs> in Indonesia because... Well, now that the pandemic is, you know, <laughs> over? That's true, but, you know, like, uh, if I start, uh, if I plan to uh, having a concert, I have to practice again for seven hours a day, mm -hmm. etc. And, like, here, it, I, I don't know, it's just like, can I see it here? <laughs> like, it's just too exhausted with uh. Uh, the, the traffic jam, yeah. etc. Like, mm -hmm. It's a very physical uh, instrument. Yeah, but... Um, for sure, at the end of the year, yeah, I'll 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 have a solo recital at the in Surabaya. In Surabaya. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so this is getting more interesting. But we'll continue on talk with Ramawidi right after the break. So stay here on the Three Avenue Show on C Today.